What's up? Dr. Buster here. Uh, first off, smoking my Eric Ganey pipe. And in it, I'm smoking some Corktown from Chuck Nowak. And see everybody doing top five videos. If I had a if I were to do a top five, Corktown would be in there, but uh you know it's something that <laughs> not everybody can get, I guess. You know. Uh, I'm sure Chuck doesn't plan on sending everybody in the <laughs> pipe smoking community on YouTube a sample of Chuck Town, but <laughs> I guess I'm one of the lucky ones. Uh, speaking of Eric Ganey, this past weekend I went to the uh, Southeastern YouTube Pipe Presenter Conference up in Marietta, Georgia. Uh, talked to Eric for a little bit. I was asking him, you know, I was telling him how great my pipe smokes and all, and Asking about the waiting list, and how well he's been doing, and you know, just just chatting about the about his little uh, or not little now it's big, it's kind of blown up his a uh, pipe making endeavor. And uh, he told me the waiting list, and I said, "Go ahead and put me on it now. Go ahead and put me at the end, you know." Uh, and I told him, I was like, "I don't know what I want." I said, "You just make what you think I'd like, pretty much." So that's what he's gonna do, and he was happy to uh, oblige. So, so sometime in the future I'll have me another Eric Ganey pipe and I'm stoked, can't wait. Two reasons for this video. First off, got a yabo from my buddy Rick. Uh, I sent him a pipe that I got at the uh, flea market, I don't know, some time ago. And uh, i tell you the back story on it was, uh, and I had shown it in a, or in a, if you go back to my videos and look at my flea market find video, uh, you'll see this pipe. I purchased it from a lady there that she just had about three or four um, just old nasty pipes and I saw this one and uh, looked at it closely and wasn't in too good a shape had a crack in the bowl uh, but she only wanted a minimal amount of money for it so I said you know that could be something I might could talk to Rick about if anything I could just add it to the collection and let it sit there and look cool give my collection a little character so uh, anyway what it was was a uh, K Woody white briar um, I contacted Rick and I said hey man I got this K Woody white briar and I, I sent him emailed a picture of it and um, told him how to crack in the in the bowl and Uh, some of the finish had come off of it, and he told me, you know, he's like, Dave, I don't feel comfortable with any of my resources, you know, uh, to be able to fix it or repair the, the white finish on it or whatever. And uh, I said, well, no problem, you know, I, I was just, you know, throw it out there and see, you know, see if you could maybe take a look at it or whatever. So he told me he didn't really feel comfortable doing it. Um, I said, no problem, because, you know, I know he's he puts his name on everything. He wants everything to be be perfect. I totally understand that. So, I don't know, about two weeks later, he sends me a boxer message and he says, uh, he says, Dave, just go ahead and send that, send that K Woody in. We'll, we'll take a look at it and see what, what we can do. So I sent it in and this is it. I wish I had pictures of it, uh, from when I got it, but if you want to see it, go back and look at that, that flea market find video. So, this is cool. Oh, by the way, this is my second pipe that Rick's done for me. The first one was unreal. He just, he totally changed the old no-name poker into a, a brand new pipe. I mean, it was ridiculous. It, it looked so cool. Uh, it's one of my favorite smokers. But uh, this time he sent me a card, business card. Phone number and uh, email address down there. That's cool. So, let's see what we got. He sent me a picture. He emailed the picture. 
And um, I was like, man, that looks like a different pipe. So here we go. Wow. You can't even tell. There was a big crack in the bowl right here. It just went down like this. And you can't even see it. Crack is totally gone. The chips and the finish are gone. Uh, of course, he, he redid the stem for me, which is, uh, it was pretty in pretty bad shape. Cleaned the stinger. It's a drinkless system. Look at that. Polished up the, uh, the metal there on the inside. Um, man, I tell you what, Rick. That's amazing. Of course, he, he re redid the bowl. Um, let's see the top. I, I tell you what, it, it's this is amazing that there were chips all in the finish here. I mean, everywhere, uh, and it just looked looked pretty nappy. So, oh yeah, that's nice. That's really nice. So check it out. All right, so there you go. There's my yapo. And a quick word about the uh, Southeastern YouTube Pipe Presenter Conference. Man, we had a blast. Me and Big Trappy went down. We met. Uh, did Well, not necessarily met. We did meet, meet some people we hadn't talked to before. I hadn't talked to before, but uh, getting to do a face-to-face -face meeting and just get to know these people's personalities and what they do for a living. And, man, it was pretty cool. Uh, you know, for instance, uh, you, you, when you leave, you think, man, I wish I'd have had time to talk more to this person. And uh, of course, uh, if you I'm, if you see this, Georgia Brad, it's uh, man, I regret not being able to talk to you more. Um, of course, you know it was uh, it was packed in there, and everybody's talking to each other it's like we were crawling over each other to get to one another. But uh, Georgia Brad, if you see this, uh, you know we're not that far away. Hopefully, we can hook up sometime and. and uh, Maybe drink a beer and smoke a bowl. Uh, but yeah, man, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you another person that really impressed me was uh, Mark Making Change. Man, that dude is just so cool. He's down to earth, laid back, funny. Uh, really a cool guy. Uh, Ray at Hobby Pipes, he was really nice. I actually won one of his tampers. We were, when we were eating lunch, I said, uh, and, and I had never, you know, never really you know, talked to Ray before, but, um, I told him, you know, I said, hey, Ray, you, you bring any tampers to sell? He's like, well, I brought a few to put in the raffle. And ongoing joke between a few of us here in the pipe community is I, I never win anything. I've never won any contest, nothing. I come close. I come close to Crossroads Greg uh, contest. Um, but, yeah, it's just an ongoing joke that Dr. Buster don't win anything. So when Shadrach called my number, this was the only tamper left, and I snatched it up. So, Ray, I appreciate that. Uh, of course, got to hang out with Rachel and Nate Campbell. Um, you know, just they were awesome, like I knew they would be. Um, Adam Houston, got to hang with him. Uh, Aubrey Doss, uh, of course, Tobacco Frank. Yeah, that's my buddy right there. That's my buddy. Him and Crossroads Greg, they're like... Uh, uh, you know, you, you, you get one with the other, and that they are awesome people. Uh, we had a good time at uh, Sonny's Barbecue afterwards and made memories. And just a little inside joke, Greg, I better see that stick being passed around the YouTube pipe community. You know, and you know what I'm talking about, and a lot of you do. Uh, of course, Angela and Eric, uh, Angela gave me a gift for Luke, my new, my new uh, baby boy. Uh, neat little outfit that uh, uh, Leslie just uh, she fell in love with. So uh, anyway, there's a you know I could go on and on about you know what we did, but uh, we just had a good time. Thanks to Pipe Lawyer for putting the conference on, uh, hosting us at Tobacco World over there in Marietta, Georgia. Uh, and I didn't take any videos in there. I took one at Sunny's, which was my last video. 
um, but I didn't take any videos there because I mean <laughs> you had 15 videos going on at the same time so you know it would have just it would just have been a uh, you know a repetitive or a repeat of someone else's videos so but with that said I appreciate everyone uh, giving me a shout out for the baby um, good to meet everybody uh, man there were some uh, really cool people there and like Joe Case said in uh, his award speech to AJ Stash Warden that this pipe smoking community on YouTube is a unique bunch uh, we are um, the camaraderie between all of us is just unique. Uh, there's so many generous people in this community and, uh, you know, probably met some lifelong friends just through video. So, anyhow, love you guys. You guys take care. If you weren't there, Ben, Collarbone00, sorry you couldn't make it, buddy. Uh, we thought about you. We talked about you. We made fun of you. Uh, had a good time at your expense. <laughs> but, you know, you know it was all in love, so... You guys take care, and we'll holler at you later. Later.